The Biz Portal's Calendar Web Part is a versatile tool designed to centralize and manage your calendar events. It allows you to integrate calendars from Outlook and SharePoint, offering a seamless way to view all your important dates in one place. With this web part, you can add, edit, or disable calendars as needed and easily switch between different calendars to view their respective events. This comprehensive calendar web part is ideal for keeping track of your corporate events, meetings, and deadlines. Steps to add BizPortal's calendar on a modern site or pages and configure it. First, we need to click on the page edit option and then click on plus icon and write BizPortal's calendar. By clicking on the edit option button, a side panel will appear. Fill the necessary details. Web Part Title This title can be easily adjusted or changed based on your needs. This title can be used to select on the content that is being displayed or the targeted audience that it's for. For example, if the web part is being used to display a set of important calendars of the organization, it might be titled Calendar Hub or Calendar Central. Web Part Description Users can write a brief description which explains the information related to content which has been displayed in the web part. Configure calendar. Site slash subsite. Choose a site or subsite to import the SharePoint calendar list. Calendar list. Based on your site slash subsite selection, pick the SharePoint calendar list to display on the web part. Enter calendar name. Provide a name for the calendar list you're importing. This name will appear on the web part. Enable. If set to Yes, the calendar will be visible to all users on the web part. If set to No, it won't be shown on the web part display. Set as default. Only one calendar can be the default. If marked to Yes, the default calendar will be the first calendar users see on the BizPortal's calendar web part when they refresh the page. Upcoming events. You can choose how many upcoming days events you want to see on the web part. At max for 60 days can be displayed on the web part. Past events. You can choose how many previous days events you want to see on the web part. At max for 60 days can be displayed on the web part. Show border. Enable this feature to add a visible border around the web part. Enhancing its visual distinction and clarity. Web part layout settings. Select header layout. There are different options to choose from. If you pick the first five options, the header will be displayed as shown in options. But if you choose the sixth or seventh option, you can add an image or logo to the header respectively. Select Web Part Layout. Choose Layout from the available options. Web Part Height. Adjust height of web part by sliding the range bar according to the requirement. Display web part title. Enable this button if you want to display the title. Customize theme. Enable this option to personalize the web part's visual appearance by applying a custom background theme. This is achieved by entering adjacent code into the theme editor. Web Part Feedback Settings Specify feedback subject and the recipient's email address to whom feedback-related emails will be sent related to this web part. Select Calendar This option allows users to select the calendar from the drop-down menu. When you click the Today option, the calendar will jump to the current day. Clicking Back will take you to the previous month's calendar. Clicking Next will move you to the calendar for the next month. Clicking on a month changes the calendar view to display the entire month.
while a week switches it to a weekly layout. Similarly, selecting day shows the calendar in day view. Thanks for watching the video.